It's worth labeling what competes with evidence-based de decisions by policymakers. And it strikes me there's at least two things that compete. One is um, uh, public opinion and playing to what might satisfy public opinion. And the other is vested interests, which are uh, very powerful. And uh, the one of the things would be, a couple of things, one would be a commitment to evidence-based policy making. So I think in the, uh, uh, for most, uh, for many policy contexts, if you ask people, they wouldn't even say they're committed to that. Um, so the first thing would be at least a official commitment to evidence-based policy making. Uh, and then, um, I think public education is very important. So um, we were talking about uh, we, part of the project that was going on in there was um, interviews with the public and getting guidelines, information across the public. And the public is still uh, is not well educated about evidence and the need for evidence-based decision making. Uh, I think it's growing, I think awareness is growing, but public education so that uh, it would be uh, given to policy makers respond to public pressure, if there was actually public pressure to have evidence-based policy making, um, they would likely respond to that. And then you need safeguards against uh, the influence of vested interests. And then you need people like you who are uh, uh, from the journalists who are ready to uh, do investigative journalism to see what influences the decisions because I would think, I would suspect very often that the, inf the influence of vested interests in decision making is uh, uh, if the public, if, if this were made transparent, people wouldn't be too happy about it. I think it's a nice initiative. I think it's a good idea. And um, it, is, uh, it is explicitly evidence-based. So it's saying, OK, what are five things in the area that we do that the evidence suggests we should not be doing? So that it is, uh, uh, and I think it nicely highlights the fact of where evidence gets ignored and where people do things for bad reasons. So um, as an explicitly evidence-based initiative, I think it's a good idea.